All right, here we go. This is going to be a look at Kazuo Akutsu. Sure, <laughs> I hope I got that right. Uh, the uh, the headbang predator, the kamikaze predator, as someone once called him in a YouTube comment. Remember that stuck out. I laughed at it. But yes, the uh, pretty underrated predator. I do actually like this guy. I've been watching this guy's segment a lot recently, and I've been really become a fan. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, for somebody who smacks their head into the bar, he pretty how I don't know how it ends up being an underrated predator, but he is. I mean, he doesn't get discussed enough in the T cap community, in my humble opinion. Here, I mean, he's. Pretty uninteresting on the surface, actually. Like, I've been reading his chat log. It's not very um, dirty as opposed to some of the other ones. I mean, if you go down to the bottom here, uh, all the way. I mean, it's a long fucking chat log, but it's got only a 227 on the average sliminess scale. Now, I don't know how scientific this is. I don't trust perverted justice to put too much science behind this scale here. But it's a long chat log, for sure. I mean, it starts on, or it ends on 3.30, and starts on 3.19, it looks like. So, yeah, I mean, he's kind of a, a groomer type. Um, ignore these other tabs for now. We'll look at those a little bit later. But, yeah, he's an interesting predator. He is what I'm trying to say here. He's an interesting predator on the surface, beyond the surface. So let's take a look at it. Let's just get into it here. Kazuo Ukutsu, let's go. And there's one more potential predator we'd like you to meet. That's 37-year-old Kazuo Akutsu knocking on our door. And that is one thing I don't like about the... I love the New Jersey episode. It's one of my favorites. But I don't like how he's the final predator that they showed. I don't like that very much. I think... I don't know. Just looking at some of the New Jersey predators... They like to go for shock value. Oh my god! You know, at the end, uh, at the end of each episode, um, I, you know, he hit his head into a bar, but it's not like that's so shocking, you know. <laughs> but we'll get into that a little bit later. But yeah, oh, man, let's just go. Let's go. I, I I disagree is what I'm trying to say with with their selection of predators for uh, for the teacaps. For the uh, final predator of the New Jersey stick. Uh, I haven't watched New Jersey in a while, actually. I've been kind of going through um, the whole series again <laughs> as of uh, the past couple of weekends. I've been watching, uh, just got, got going in order. I haven't gotten to New Jersey yet, so we'll get there soon, though. Hey! hey I'm glad you made it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, He's no. been chatting online for more than a week with a decoy posing as a 14-year-old. Using the screen name Kaz4541, he asks the girl about having sex on the beach, <laughs> then says he's not into that. He wants a nice, comfortable bed. <laughs> comfortable bed. So what a dick. He says, you know, he brings up, hey, how about sex on the beach? I bet you the decoy is like, uh... Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah, if you want to. And then she goes, you don't. No, I don't. Like, what the fuck? You're like, why bring it up if you don't want to talk, if you don't want to do it? Yeah, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. But yeah, why bring it up at all if you don't want to do it? You know? He says, how about sex on the beach? You want to do that? I'm asking you. Yeah, if you want to. Do you want to? You don't? Oh, well, I don't. Like, what the fuck? I want a nice, comfortable bed. Like, <laughs> Oh, man. Like, Kaz... Kaz is a funny guy, you know, he's, he's doing that kind of mind games thing, you know, he's just kind of like, he's going to try to, he's going to bring up everything and force the decoy into saying, nah, I guess not, and then he'll end up getting his way. It's, it's a bit, it's a bit of a mind games move right there from Kaz, if I must say so. He also has a birthday with <laughs> sex with a decoy. Do you want some brownies? Um, not for now. He smelled like he was smoking in the car beforehand. I want to go back to that, Stay actually. I so, want, his birthday was, I want a lot sex with you. That's, uh, that is not something that anyone should say. You know, even if it is like, hey, oh, what do you want for your birthday? Oh, I want to have sex with you. Don't ever say that. <laughs> it's not, and then says, especially don't say a lot of sex with you. That's not, that's not cool. I don't like that. I don't like that. It just, it just doesn't scream much confidence, you know, I mean. 
I would say something like, I don't know, you know I, would, I would say something else. If To imply, even if it is implying sex, I wouldn't just come out and say, I want lots of sex with you, you know? I wouldn't say that, but um, who the hell knows? I, I don't want to get into the mind of Kazuo Akutsu here, so let's just keep going. Do you want some brownies? Um, not for now. He smelled like he was smoking in the car beforehand and hasn't showered in a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> so there... <laughs> That's my favorite part of this, actually, is when Casey puts him on blast. You know, I used to, I get on Casey a lot for not adding anything overly meaningful to this, uh, to her voiceovers. I get on Casey a lot right there, but that is good, insightful analysis right there from Casey, you know. She goes, smells like, you know, it smelled like he was smoking in the car and, you know, hadn't showered in a couple of days. You don't know that, Casey, but damn it, I find it great that you put him on blast like that in front of the whole nation, in front of millions of people in a primetime audience. Not only is this guy a predator, but he's a fucking slob. I love it. Put him on blast, man. I love it. I love it, you know. There should be a new Sting show where... Uh, <laughs> This is so fucking ridiculous. What the hell am I doing? But god damn. There should be a new sting show where instead of getting sex predators to come, they get people who haven't showered and smoked in the car for a couple of days and they get them into the house and they just put them on blast in front of the whole nation. You know? Oh man. You, you know, you get like some 30 year old, uh, 30, 48 year old deadbeat. You know? Uh, come, get them to come into the house. You know, think he's going to get sex and then be like, Huh, you smell like you haven't showered in a couple of days. Get out of here immediately. Oh, man, that'd be great. <laughs> I would watch that every single day. Are you kidding me? I would watch that. Any chocolate? No. You don't. Hasn't showered in a couple of days. You didn't bring me any chocolate? No. You know why? Why? Because, um... <clears throat> I didn't want her to find it. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, you know, the wrapping and everything. I would have thrown it away. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I love that too. I love this, right? I love that whole right, that whole thing right there. The whole back and forth about the chocolate that he was supposed to bring. You know, I don't remember in the chat log. Did he mention chocolate? I can't remember. Uh you know, it's always a 50-50 thing when you do these searches in the chat log. Because you never know how these guys are going to speak. Or how, how these assholes are going to tell you, How about chocolate? Any fave chocolate? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you know, they have some nice back and forth, you know. That's what I'm saying. He at least knows how to hold a fucking conversation. I will give him that, you know. A lot of these predators are just talking to themselves. And it's just like they're talking with their dicks. But this guy can at least have a fucking conversation. So, so if there's any bright spot to him, I guess that's that. But yeah, uh, but I like that too. He was probably just too cheap to fucking bring the chocolates. You know that they that that's what it was. He was just too cheap to fucking bring them. <laughs> I think, yeah, yeah. You know, he's just like, eh, I don't want her mother to find the wrapping in this huge ass fucking mansion. I mean, Jesus Christ. You think the mother is going to go through every single garbage can? <laughs> And fucking go and look through them all. Oh, wait a second. Whose chocolate wrapper is this? Casey, get the hell in here right now. No, that's not what they were going to do. But no, he's just like... He's like so paranoid for no reason about the fucking chocolate. <laughs> Either that or he probably ate them all in the car, man. Who the fuck knows? Oh, my God. Yeah, the wrapping and everything. I would have thrown it away. No. no, I like that too. I would have thrown it away. No, it's not good enough for me. It's not good enough for me to just throw them away. You know, it would... <laughs> no, it's not good enough for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like that too. Imagine that. He brings it, he brings in like that heart-shaped box of chocolates or something, right? And he just he makes sure he takes everything out. He takes everything out and just puts them like in a Ziploc bag. So, so that way, you know, it doesn't have to find the box. doesn't have to find the wrapping. Fucking kazoo. Oh, man. What a dude. What a dude. So now, explain again why no chocolates. Ooh. Ooh. I just didn't bring it. Ooh, <laughs> man. He fucking shits himself. That's a pretty good underrated, uh, oh, shit reaction from a predator right there. No. So explain again why no chocolates. 
just didn't bring it. <laughs> Chris Hansen's got a little smile on his face too. I fucking love that. You know, I, I love when I see Chris Hansen in these um, get a little bit of excitement out of get a little bit of enjoyment out of uh, out of this. You know, you can just tell from right away. I don't know if he's just in a good mood or what, but man, it is it's great, man. It's great. So what's your plan here, Joy? Well, I was going to just see her. He admits her is a 14-year-old girl named Sandy, who we met online. He says he's 37 and works for a major department store in New York City. 37. So there's there's a stereotype there about that, but um, yeah, he doesn't he doesn't actually look 37. So that's him right there. But yeah, you know, he says he works. He doesn't. He's very hesitant to say in the chat log where he works. A lot of people assume that's Bloomingdale's. It is not Bloomingdale's. It's, uh, I forgot the fucking name of it. It's like Fifth Ave or something. Um, I forget what the fuck it's called. It's like Fifth Ave or something. Um, Fifth Avenue. I, I forgot what it's called. Give me a sec. I'm going to find it. Yes. Okay. I knew it was something Fifth Ave. I couldn't remember the first, um, the first fucking word in the, t in the store. You can tell I don't really, I'm not, uh, it's not my style, you know, I'll say that. But yeah, Saks Fifth Ave. So he's very, <laughs> he's very hesitant in the whole chat log to say where he works. Good move, Ta Kaz, but then he finally says it. But he's like, he gets into the whole, oh, you buy, you buy underwear for Victoria's Secret? And she's like, yeah, do you get clothes for yourself? Yeah, I do. Uh, he's not telling you. No, he may show up one day and ask me for a discount. <laughs> you may, if I, you know where I work. In. Macy's, no. Bloomies, no. Just tell me. Saks, and there it is. Saks Fifth Avenue. I thought that they were going out of business, or they were filing for bankruptcy. I don't know about that. Or not. But, yeah. Um, I don't know how the hell he got that gig. Yeah, they've laid off employees. I heard that. Um, I thought they were filing for bankruptcy. It's not important, but you know what? I, it's a, I want to find out, but I don't need to do that right now. So let's just continue here. <clears throat> but yeah, I do wonder how he got that gig. You know, did he get this nice, sweet little leather jacket with the uh, fucking design on the back there from Saks Fifth Avenue? Who knows? I'll answer the question right there. So you just decided today after work <clears throat> that you were going to jump in the car to meet a 14-year-old girl named Sandy. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's you it. thought it was appropriate <laughs> at the age of 37 to come meet a 14-year-old. Why? Explain that to me. Um, I didn't think it was appropriate. Your chat was pretty darn explicit with her. Yeah. And you... And some obnoxious, too. <coughs> the gum... <coughs> Excuse me. The gum chewing there is pretty obnoxious also. I meant to say that before when he's in the house and talking to Casey and she offers him the brownies. And take the fucking brownies when someone offers them to you, you asshole. That's a different topic, though. But when he's sitting there, you know, with that... Chewing like a fucking cow. I mean, dude, if you're gonna chew gum, chew gum with your... You know, you don't have to open your mouth and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's so obnoxious, man. Like, you know, I enjoy a piece of gum every now and then. Definitely. But I don't chew it with my mouth fucking open the entire time. And I wonder, <laughs> I'm like waiting for Chris Hansen to stick his hand out and be like, give me the gum, sir. You know, like in fucking school, you know. Is that gum? Go throw it. I once had a fucking teacher. This is a fucking tangent, man. This doesn't mean anything. This isn't related at all in any single way. But I once had a teacher. Spanish class. Fucking uh, ninth grade. Uh, <laughs> who who made you throw his gum out if you were chewing gum. He made you go into the hallway and spit it out. Are you fucking insane, dude? What the hell? I was like, it was my, I remember it was my first day at, of, of ninth grade. <laughs> my first day at, in ninth grade. He made me spit the gum out. He said, I thought he was joking, you know, go spit it out in the hall. I thought he was joking, so I just put it in the trash that was in the classroom. Like a fucking, like, any normal person would. And he goes and looks at it, he's like, he's like, Wh whose gum is this in here? You know, I was like, oh, fuck. You know, but god damn it, man, it fucking annoyed me. Fucking, I, I have a bunch of stories about that guy, <laughs> about that teacher, man. <laughs> Good teacher, I liked him, but man, he was fucking annoyed with the gum, man. Acknowledge in the chat 
that the age thing could be a problem. Sandy, I am more than twice your age. <laughs> I know what I did. Ooh, getting hot in there. Time's up, time's up, time's Hi. up. It reminds me of that Ovi Sunny episode. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Ah, it's so hot in here. You know, as they get their, uh, as they get all their shit thrown back at them. But yeah, you know, it <laughs> takes the coat off. And dude, I understand why you're hot now, yeah. man. You got a fucking long sleeve shirt under a short sleeve shirt under a, a, a heavy uh, leather jacket, man. Ooh, man, I'd be sweating. I'm sweating just thinking about that, man. Dude, come on. It's hot. 4541 says he's feeling ill. <laughs> you talk about her having a hard time enjoying <laughs> sex because she's a virgin and that it might hurt. And Chris is unfazed. Chris Hansen is unfazed by this, man. You know, back in the olden days. Remember back in the olden days with uh, Aladdin in Virginia? Man, he was like, he's like, he got onto the floor. He's like, what, what, what are you doing? He got all concerned, like. You, you want some you want some water? You know, he got all concerned, but man, by the end of this, man, Chris Hansen didn't give a single fuck, you know. He didn't give a single fuck. So Chris, so Kazoo just gets on the ground, Chris Hansen just keeps going. Eh, well, you, know, you said this, you said this. <clears throat> Subscribe to my website, HansenVersPredators.com, and my YouTube channel, Hansen vs Predators, and fly the flag on CH where on Shopify. You can you can go if you'd like to. Unfaith. I, I, I need to tell you something first. <laughs> I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on Ooh. adults who try to meet kids online. <laughs> now, if there's anything else you want to say, oh no! And here we go. We'd like to hear it. If not, you can obviously walk out the door you came in. <laughs> we go there we go, Kaz. Oh yeah, they just they go to the water bottle. Oh, uh, fucking Ron Knight. Ron Knight, stand up guy. Ron Knight fucking goes over there and and helps him out. Like he actually hurt himself. Like he actually fucking um, like he actually is hurt. You know, like he did that. You know, I, I do admire it. It's a fucking the biggest hail mary of them all. It is the biggest fucking hail mary. Um, you know. It, um, the Hail Mary of all Hail Marys. You know, you probably have better odds <clears throat> of getting struck by lightning three times in a row than this working, though. I just want to say that. You know, he took it. He took it. He took a shot. You know, he took his shot. As they say, uh, shoot or shoot, as they say. You know, fucking gets him, giving himself a concussion, whatever. You know, he's not afraid. He's not afraid. I admire the, uh, the, the attempt. I will give you points for the attempt, Kaz. But Jesus Christ, man. You know, you, you gotta, you gotta give it, you know, it, it's not going to work. You know, he thought that, hey, if I bang my head into this, uh, into this, uh, uh bar, they'll, they'll not show it as if you didn't just make a great television moment, Kaz, you know, <laughs> it's like, they won't show it. They won't air this if I hurt myself, but no, they'll, they're going to air it and they're going to make sure that they air it and they're going to tease it the entire fucking episode to get people to stay and watch it. That's what they're going to do, Kaz. I mean, you didn't think it through very well. He obviously doesn't know the show. Hey, they uh, they air everything. You know, they air it. Even if it doesn't look great, you know, they're going to air it. ...in and examines him. It turns out to be <laughs> nothing serious. Him. You want me to give you an exam? <laughs> yeah, he's clammy. He's definitely... <laughs> Come on, let's go up to you. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> he's escorted out of the house and is later arrested. <laughs> Look at this man, he's just putting on airs man, he is just fucking, he is just doing whatever he thinks will at work here, you know, he's being escorted out by two police officers, there's a third one in front of him, he's like, yeah man, they're not gonna arrest me, they're not gonna arrest me, because I just fucking almost killed myself, I'm good. Neville says he recovered pretty quickly. We brought him back to the police department. <laughs> Had a medic at the police. Department. Look at all this shit. <laughs> Look at all this shit that they're making you go through. Look at this waste of fucking resources. Like this EMT guy could be out there fucking actually helping somebody. This guy is faking it, and you know that he's fucking faking it. But no, either guy still gotta help him anyway. Fucking piece of shit, you know. Just going through. Like, is this really necessary? <laughs> He didn't have as much concern at the house, but now they get to the guys here. He's like, oh, no, I want to go through all the tests. I want to go through all the tests. Nope, not going to work, Kaz. You're still going to go to jail, homeboy. Monitored his blood pressure and heart rate and pulse. Or, and 
pretty much was cleared to go back to the jail. Later, well, he, he goes is. before a judge <laughs> in his jail <laughs> See, imagine that, walking in there and seeing the camera still there, too. Ooh, that's got to hurt. Jail is set at $50,000 with no 10% eligibility. Now that is an interesting shot right there, okay? Because look at this. You got these guys. You got these guys right here, right? You got these guys right here, and you have Kaz right there. But look at this. Ba ba ba! It's the same fucking shot as this one right here, but it's a different angle. Look at this right here, man. This is this is interesting shit right here. Though when I first saw it, it blew my fucking mind. I was like, damn, man. Look at this all-star group right here. Well, it's not really an all-star group, I will say that. It's more the, the secondary predators from New Jersey. I mean, our favorite Italian is not here, unfortunately. Um, but we do get some good characters right here. So it is right here, in order from left to right here. It's, this is Ernest Timmons. This one right here is Ernest Timmons. He's blocked. Fucking asshole right here. Howard Thornton, unaired predator, not even important in the TCAP. Uh, in the Predator verse, you know, and not even important. It's covering up Ernest Timmons, which is unfortunate. But right there, we got Todd Lewis right there, PS3 player. Uh, this guy's also unaired. I don't know his name. Uh, let's like <clears throat> Savin Naroshka or something. Okay, I don't know who that is. Uh, you got this guy right here, Malik Washington, of course. Uh, do, do I, uh, I'm 17, can you give me a ride home? And funny enough, right here, they spell his name wrong. I don't know if you can quite see that. But M-A-L-I-C. That's not how you spell it. Come on, Ocean County Press. I don't even know what news article this is. I don't even know what... Uh, I don't even know what uh, fucking uh, newspaper this is. And you have right here, Michael Murray. Gotta get the truck back. Uh, and then you have Kaz in his own row right there. Some people speculating that he's in his own row right there because they don't want him to faint and hit this wood right here. You know, if you're going to faint, you're going to hit Todd Lewis, PS3 player, or Ernest Timmons. And you know Ernest Timmons, he's in the military. He'll, he'll, he'll fucking take care of you, you know? <laughs> but that also led me down a well of, of this right here. So this is from an old thread in t Captain. Back in 2018, somebody posted this. I respect you, whoever found this. You really are an MVP, because look at this! A lot of mugshots that you've never seen before. A lot of mugshots that you've never seen before. So, yes, we have, in order here, we have Terry Warner, the fence predator. We have, uh, I don't know why it says Robert Armstrong. It's Rob Graber, the guy who cried. He thought it was a joke. Eugene Daly, <clears throat> everyone's favorite postman. We have Malik Washington right there. He looks like he's had a rough evening. <laughs> After all that walking. And now he's in jail. Zigfield Rivera. The fuck? The hard, the hard brownies predator. We have Todd Lewis, PS3 player. I believe that's from the day of the sting. And this is from a little bit later on. Uh, we have right here Richard Burnham. <laughs> Yukon Blue and White. Steve. Also known as Steve. Uh, Rich Burnham, I think you should take your, you should take your jelly and get out of here. <laughs> John Donnelly, fucking, uh, I'm gonna be branded as a loser for the rest of my life. This is like an all-star team! This is like an all-star team of Predators right here, man. Oh, the New Jersey episode is so great, man. The New Jersey thing is so fucking great. John Donnelly looks like he had a rough night in the in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Going to be branded as a loser for the rest of your life. And here he is, Lover Man Genius. Uh, you have two of them of Lover Man Genius. I don't. I think these are in the incorrect order. This one says 2007. I think this is the 2007 one, and that's the 08 one. Because he didn't have the goatee on the day of the sting, did he? I don't think he did. Yeah, he's probably going to squeeze the guts out of somebody. And then you have another one of Rick Burnham. I think that's the same one, actually. No, it's is that different? Yeah, it is. So we have two of Rick Brennan. And then we have our boy right here, Mr. Kazu Akutsu. Again, I think these are out of war. I think this is the 07 one. I think this is the 08 one. <laughs> and then Mr. Mike Murray. I gotta get the truck back. Uh, we have more here. Jeremy Keister. <laughs> Doesn't even know what fucking planet he's on. And our boy, everyone's favorite boy, Michael Lebrano right here. And there is the big one right here. AOL sucks my dick. Anthony Palumbo can't even look at the cameraman. He's so upset with himself. Oh, poor Palumbo. <laughs> Looks so sad. No Thomas Shin, though. I don't know why there's no Thomas Shin here. Um, 
That was a little bit disappointing. But yeah, a lot of people, I don't think I've seen these. So here they are. You know, I mean, not a lot of info is known about these New Jersey Predators, but now we got the whole little spank bank of, of their mug shots here. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I'm fucking insane. All right. I somehow got uh, 25 minutes out of Mr. Kaz here. That's going to do it. Let's just watch the ending. No 10% eligibility. No 10% eligibility. <laughs> Boom. One more time, the head bang. That's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, see you guys later.